in the video format. So you can always contact me via email if you need to. And uh, of course, the nice thing about this is I'll be able to spend all period helping you since you're watching the videos. But we're on to the loop stage, which is immediately after the artist stage. And what you need to realize is that loops are basically repeat blocks. Uh, loops allow you to do something a bunch of times instead of having to say it over and over and over again. I always use the example in class of what if I wanted you to take uh, loop five loops around the chair? Would I say, go around the chair, go around the chair, go around the chair, go around the chair, go around the chair? Or would I just say, go around the chair five times? Isn't that easier? So we do the same thing in coding. In coding, we always try to do the shortest amount of lines possible. There's a reason that you get a green, a dark green, when you get use the right amount of lines or less, because that's better for the computer. The less you tell a computer to do, the easier it is for the computer to do. Just like if somebody gave you a bunch of instructions, it's harder to follow a lot of instructions, right? If they made it just three steps instead of 15, it's easier to remember and to do it, right? So it's the same thing for a computer. Now, you can see here, it's the old way of doing it. If you want the bird to get to the pig, you have to go forward, not one, not two, three, four, five forward. So go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. Boring, right? And that gets him there. But with loops, now we have an easier way. Now we can do the same thing by using a repeat block. So instead of saying go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, we can just say go forward five times. Much easier. Now, on uh, one uh, thing I want to show you. Um, take this example away for a minute. This is not important. When we have two move forwards, you never need a repeat block for that because look if I had to repeat this two times this is two blocks and this is two blocks so I wouldn't use a repeat block if I don't need it okay now if this was three forwards sure now I need a repeat block because this is two blocks but this is three blocks, so this would be shorter, right? So we always want to use the shortest amount of, codes of code possible, but we also don't want to use loops if we don't need them. One more thing that I didn't mention. Of course, in a repeat block, you don't have to put one block. You can put as many blocks as you need. You just have to spot the pattern. So say I was doing a, a problem and I went forward, then I turned left, forward, then I turned right. And I kept going and I said, oh, the next step is forward, turn left, and forward, turn right. Now, there's a pattern in here. You might have heard it as I said it. Look, I did the exact same thing two times. So I don't need to do it all two times. It's a, you know, a useful way sometimes to put the code right next to each other to make sure it's exactly the same. I would just need to drop it over here, put this in. Oops, not four times. I'd had it two times, right? Because there were two that I did. And that would be the same thing and in less blocks. So that's the basics of loops next year. You'll learn dip about different kinds of loops, so this can get a little more complicated. But for now, this is going to save you a lot of time when you're coding. So always look to do use the repeat block or loops whenever you can to save time and lines of code.